Hello, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be explaining the detoxification of alcohol. Now this process occurs in the liver, specifically hepatocytes within the liver, which are the, the liver cells that carry out the basic liver function. So we need to know a bit about the process of this and the enzymes that are involved in this process and then some of the potential knock-on effects that this may have, so some problems that this might cause to people's health. So obviously, we start off with ethanol, which is the, the alcohol involved, and that ethanol firstly gets converted into ethanol. So it gets converted into ethanol, and that is by the enzyme ethanol dehydrogenase. So ethanol dehydrogenase is used there, and that enzyme kind of does what you'd expect it to. It removes hydrogen from ethanol. So that hydrogen is removed, and then that is taken on by NAD to form reduced NAD. Or, in shorthand, NADH. So that's the first part of this process. You should be familiar with NAD and NADH from the respiration process. So the next step is ethanol being converted into another um, molecule called ethanoic acid. And again, we have another enzyme working at this process. And this enzyme, predictably, is called ethanol dehydrogenase. I'm not going to write the whole thing out. So ethanol D H. That's true. So ethanol dehydrogenase. And again, that removes hydrogen from ethanol. And that is taken on by NAD to form reduced NAD again. Okay. So the next step in this process is ethanoic acid is going to be um, converted into acetyl coenzyme A. And again, you should be familiar with this from the respiration process. You do not need to know about any enzymes working in this process, although obviously coenzyme A is an enzyme. Um, so that would then be carried and taken to respiration and used as a respiratory substrate. So that is the process of the detoxification of alcohol. Now what we need to be aware of is why this causes problems. Now, it links into this part here. So you can see that NAD is used in this process. Now normally in the cells, NAD can be used to accept hydrogen from fatty acids because they contain a lot of hydrogen and that can then be used in respiration to help us um, produce ATP. But in this case, if the liver cells are detoxifying alcohol a lot, so people drink a lot of alcohol, the NAD is being used in this process and it can't be used to accept the hydrogen from fatty acids. So what that means is those fatty acids will be converted back into lipids and they'll be stored in the hepatocyte liver cells. And if this process occurs too much, that fat builds up in those liver cells and it can damage them. So eventually it can cause them to burst and then they can become fibrous, which leads to liver cirrhosis. Um, and that can cause severe damage to liver cells and stop the liver functioning properly. So that is the knock-on effect of detoxification of alcohol, and that's the kind of thing that they've been looking for in a mark scheme. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any requests, leave them in the comments, and follow me on Twitter at RushcliffeBio. Thank you very much.